Hello popcorn junkies, how are we? Feeling like a bad boy? Feeling like a bad girl? Feeling like a good boy? Feeling like a good girl? Oh, you get where I'm going. Um, Bad Boys, the franchise. The last time I think we reacted to a Bad Boys trailer was Bad Boys for Life about four years ago. And I seem to remember in the not too distant, well, no, quite distant past, it's seeming quite exciting. Not in the John Wick way. These are kind of action comedies, right? These are kind of these are kind of buddy movies where the action's high. A lot of wheeling cars. I think it's a sort of it's a part of kind of like cops and robbers, isn't it? Where they sit in a car and the car spins loads and loads and loads. I seem to remember that happening an awful lot. Landing on the boot of cars, off the bonnet of cars with a gun, pulling a gun. Um, obviously, it stars uh, Will Smith and it stars Martin Lawrence. Um, this is a sort of, I guess this is a sort of the safest way in, in many regards for Will Smith to slowly resurrect his reputation or, or his profile, perhaps. Combined, this franchise has already made somewhere in the region, I think, of about $800 million. So there's money in it. And I think the last um, iteration of this, what was it, Bad Boys for Life, I think it made something like 200,000, oh yeah, it made a 200 million, it, it made a, a tidy profit on a 90 million budget. So, you know, there's money to be made in these films. And they're very simple, very simple concept. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Jokey, jokey, jokey. Chappy, chappy, chappy. A, a certain potency has been added to the title of this one because this new one is called Bad Boys Ride or Die. And in terms of ride or die, I think, was it yesterday Will Smith was pulled over on the Pacific Coast Highway uh, for speeding? I think he was doing 53 in a 45 or 63 in a 45 or something like that. Um, so kind of, you can't work, work out whether that, you know, any press is good press being ticketed, going fast, about to do a... Yeah, I'm not suggesting there's a tie-in, but it kind of plays well in a weird way. Um, interestingly, this is directed by Adil and Bilal, who you will know as the directors of Batgirl, the fated Batgirl that kind of uh, never saw the light of day. So without further ado, I think we're going to get... It's going to be a lot of smash em up it, Presumably, it's going to hopefully be funny, um, a bit wisecracking. But is there really an appetite? Can Will Smith shake shake the reputational harm of that Oscar thwack that he gave. Well, we'll soon find out. Bad boys, ride or die. Hit us where it hurts, chappy wappy woo was. In five, four, three, Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. Uh, get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh? For the man yesterday. Give me one, put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm -mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Wanna deal with him, you wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> Hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. <laughs> Captain Typical. Howard's being framed. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck them all! I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. <laughs> We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No, we can't wait for Lowry. It's flammable. I go there, scientists. Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Ah! I can Nasty, my bad boy. Mm. I got this. What you do, though? 
Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Why? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. So I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> Okay, the best bit of that was the last 20 seconds, it, starting with the not real. I thought when they, I saw somewhere that they said they'd attached a camera to a gun as it was held across a room. It wasn't, it was digitally created. I felt a bit, that was a bit cheap. I thought that was, I felt a bit cheated there. I did like the kind of camera that seemed to be attached to something when Martin Lawrence was about to get smashed in the face in the uh, in the petrol gas station. Like that moment, I like the moments of comedy. The moments of comedy are the best for me. I, I find action, watching an action movie like that, it's like imaginatively, having your legs kneecapped every six seconds you sort of you wince and you kind of and the sound and it's it's i don't know whether it's because i'm a little bit on the spectrum and so i find all the noise and all the all the debris and it gets on my nerves but um but i like that moment at the end there obviously with the confederate rednecky kind you know when it gets into that i think it's going to be at its best how much of that is there why is everything that's shot in miami why does it always have to look miami vice i mean i know it's miami but why does everything Everything's aspirational, isn't it? Uh, yeah, okay, it's all right. I mean, you know, um, when you've seen something like Monkey Man, the action there really isn't... I don't feel the action's what you're coming for. You're coming for the comedy. So why would you not do a trailer with more comedy? I mean, I, I get you, it ends on a nice kind of joke. But I have to say, I'm being tugged more towards Martin Lawrence than I am towards Will Smith. What about you?